guys! Today we are talking all about exhibits and exhibit animals because with the new update 1.11 coming alongside the Twilight Pack on October 18th, exhibits are getting essentially an overhaul. Frontier is adding a whole bunch of new features that make them a little bit uh, more fun, a little bit more usable, especially for players like myself who really don't ever place them because they're just a drop and click object that you kind of throw animals into. There's a lot more customization options available. So let's jump into the first thing that they changed that you might notice back here is this backdrop. So this is essentially think billboard but on the back of an exhibit so this photograph here on either side are custom photographs that i have uh, uploaded and put as the backdrop to this exhibit so if you go up to the customization tab previously all you could do were the 2d and 3d facades but if you scroll over to this little folder here these are all of the jpeg files that i have uploaded into my user media folder that i've previously used for uh, billboards around different projects but now you can use any of those photos as a backdrop for your exhibits as well. So basically what I had done is I took this one photo and I chopped it in half so that I could assign the first half to this side and the second half to this side. And I get a backdrop that is basically seamless. It meets each other and it wraps all the way around the habitat. You could do this for all three sides if you want to. Uh, don't do it for all four sides because then your guests can't see in, but in theory you could. You could do it on all four sides and take one picture and wrap it all the way around. But it offers a lot more customization than we had previously. I mean, if you see here, if I, if I take this away and do any of the other billboards that I've used, you can essentially put, there's a like a um, Australian backdrop if you want to. Um, there's the desert one that I had. I had three different ones because I chopped one picture into three different things. Um, but there's a whole bunch. Look, we could have a lumberjack face on the back of our Gila monster exhibit. How cool is that? But you can essentially put any photograph that you want on the back of the habitats, which I think is great because if we go look at this one, the 2D facade, yes, it's an in-game picture and it matches the habitat, but it's a bit boring, wouldn't you say? It doesn't have a lot of detail, doesn't have a lot of depth to it, whereas something that you can pull off the internet very easily has a lot more depth and detail and just a lot more customization to it. So that is going to be the very first change to exhibit animals. The second change I want to talk about is the camera. So previously to find the animal, you had to kind of scroll in here, search around with the camera, which was a bit of a pain because the camera does not work very well in close proximity to things in Planet Zoo, but now for exhibit animals, we have a little camera button down here and it'll zoom right in on the animal so you know exactly where it is and you can take a close look at it. I think this is awesome because again, like I mentioned, for players like me, exhibit animals were just place them, drop them, guests interact with them, but I never actually spent time looking at them. So for me, this is great because now I actually can get a look at the animal that's in my exhibit. And if you go to an exhibit, we'll take this new uh, Egyptian bat exhibit, which we're gonna talk about in just a moment. And if I hit the camera here, it's gonna show me animal one. So there's our little Egyptian fruit bat there but I can scroll through and now I can see animal number two. And so it kind of hops through the animals and you can quickly kind of scroll and see who is where and what they're doing. The bats honestly do a lot of just hanging upside down, but you can see the one that we were following uh, is flying around. So you get a good look at the animations and the movement of the animals. And you can just, honestly, you can see them because before they were a bit difficult to see. The bats are a bad example because they're pretty easy to see because they fly around and move a lot. But let's take again back here. This is the boa. He's right here in front. If you go up here, and click on the camera, you can then see your boa. Now, I'm unclear if you can actually see these guys move. I don't believe that you do. I honestly just believe that when you come back, he might be in a different location than he is now. They kind of just pop around the exhibit. I don't think they have extensive like locomotion animations where they're gonna be moving all around the exhibit. 
But nonetheless, it's still awesome to be able to easily find and look at uh, your exhibit animal quickly so that you can actually view them. The next update that I want to go over would be the new management tab. How many times have you placed down an exhibit and within five, 10 minutes, your exhibit is overpopulated, the animals are upset because there's just too many animals in there and you have to go through and manually select each one and sell them off and make sure that your habitat is happy again or your exhibit is happy again. Well, this new management tab, this very right hand tab up here in the corner is the answer to all of that. So basically, if you would like the game to automatically manage the population of animals in your exhibit, this tab right here, this little button will turn on and off the management. So if you turn it on, and then down here are all of your options for managing that population. So for example, let's say we want it to only keep one male and one female. Anytime there is over one male or over one female, the game will automatically get rid of those extra animals. You can tell the game to either take those animals and put them in your trade center, you can sell them for cash, or you can release them to the wild so you have control over where those animals are going. And you can tell the game which animals you would like to prioritize keeping. So for example, if you do age, it's going to sell the highest age or the lowest age first. So if you want to keep your original Gila monster, you'll set it to age and you'll set lowest first, meaning that any babies born will be the ones that will be sold for cash. If you want to uh, do it based on conservation credits, highest, lowest, if you want to do it based on appeal, so on and so forth, you can tell it all of those things. But say you have one animal that's kind of in the middle of any of these ranges and you want it to keep that animal no matter what. Well, that's where your exemptions come into play. So if I were to check here, this Gila monster as my exemption, it basically tells the game, I don't care what I have told you to do up here, always keep this animal. So if you have an animal that you really don't want to get rid of, that is how you're going to be able to do it. And when you have multiples in your habitat, I only have uh, two of them at the moment. You can select all of them or one of them or a couple of them, however many that you want. So this is going to be a really good tool. And by the way, if I didn't mention it already, <laughs> males up here, females down here, so you can control them each separately. You obviously can put all of the settings to the same thing for both or make different, uh, different settings for the different uh, sexes there, which is great. So really easy tool to manage your exhibits and therefore they kind of aren't a pain in the butt anymore. You don't have to babysit them. You don't have to worry about playing around and then all of a sudden all these notifications come up in the left hand side and you have to take care of them. So really, really cool update coming to exhibits and one that is definitely going to be helpful for franchise mode specifically. Now, one of the cooler updates and the one I am most excited for is going to be this guy right here. This is a brand new exhibit all together. This is the Egyptian bat exhibit. So you can see here it's the walkthrough exhibit. And right now it only houses Egyptian bats. You can see them flying around in there. But after seeing this, I'm pretty positive that this will soon be uh, used to house bird species in a future update or DLC. I mean, this just, it screams aviary. That's what it is. So anyway, you can put this down and right now you can put Egyptian bats in it. But the coolest part about this is if we go to the customization tab and you see here, much like the exhibits have the other smaller exhibits, we have wall one, wall two, wall three, ceiling, floor. You can make it mesh, you can make it glass, you can make it solid, and you can also make it disappear. It is the best thing Frontier could have ever done. So if I go through and I set these all to none, I have absolutely no barriers on this exhibit. You can see there is still a line, so you can decide or determine rather where the edges of the exhibit is. 
and that is going to uh, tell you where your animal is going to be able to travel within. But now I can set it to essentially this null walkthrough exhibit and I can decorate it however I want. They also went one step further. You can see right now these keepers are going right through the PVC strip curtain. You can make this none and then you can 100% completely customize the surroundings of this walkthrough habitat. Now these things on the inside won't ever go away. These are always going to be there. These two little bat houses and these two little hanging uh, trellis great things, whatever they are. But how awesome is that? You can you can completely customize this. You can still go in and do layout changes and add different enrichment items for these guys as you want. So if you can see here, you, you completely fill it up if you want to and then completely customize the walls and the building around it. This is what we wanted. This is exactly what we were asking for. I am super excited about this and how can you not look at this and think birds are coming? <laughs> different bird species, different flying aviary species. I am, I'm so excited for the potential of this. And I'm just so excited that Frontier listened and uh, was able to implement something that we were all really asking for. The last thing that I wanted to talk about is going to be the educator animations. So going forward in the game after update 1.11, your educators will do keeper talks next to your exhibits. And with some of the animals, 19 of them to be exact, they'll be able to take them out and hold them. They'll hold them either on one hand, two hand, or on your, their shoulder. And I'll go ahead and put a list up on the screen right now of all 19 of the animals that can be handled by your educators. So as you're watching here, these are some of the animations of the exhibit animals that can be handled. The ones that go on the shoulder are going to be the leaf insect, the Goliath beetle, and the Titan beetle. They just kind of sit on the keeper's right shoulder and the keeper does their little talk about them. All the other animations are exactly the same, but it's just a nice little touch. Again, it brings the animal out of the exhibit. It makes them a little bit more realistic, a little bit more um, just there, I guess, like a real thing, like a real entity. Uh, previously, when just looking at the exhibit, I saw it just for a box. I really didn't see the animals in it at all. So now with the new camera and then these animations, it just brings them to life a little bit more. That is going to be it on all of the updates for 1.11 involving the exhibits, the new walkthrough exhibit, the animations, and the management stuff. Let me know if you have any questions and if you're excited about them. Are you happy with everything that Frontier added or is there stuff that they missed and you're still wanting more, basically? Let me know all of those things down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in any more Planet Zoo content. You can follow me on all my other social media platforms as well. All those fun links are down in the description below. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.